So we're talking about holidays. Um, is there any really, really good holidays that you remember? Uh, well, one of my favorite holidays was when I went to Greece a couple of years ago with my family. Wow, Greece. I've never been there. How is it? Sounds really, really nice. Uh, Greece is a very beautiful country. Uh, the houses are... Everything is so white and the beaches are so beautiful. So what did you do in Greece? Uh, mainly I just relaxed at the swimming pool and at the beaches. And at night time I went shopping with my mom. And we had some really nice food too. Oh, that sounds really interesting, like the perfect holidays. So you said you went with your family, right? Yes, I went with my mom and dad and brother. And for how long did you go there? Uh, we went for four days. And when we went, there was a big football tournament. And so everybody was so happy and excited. And at night times, everybody will start dancing. And so me and my brother, we would join and dance with them. Cool. So did you get to see any of those matches of the tournament? Yes, I went to see one match with my dad and I had so much fun. Oh, sounds really cool. Like really nice holidays. Yes, it was one of my best holidays. Really, really. Really, really. Sounds really, really nice. We sometimes say really, really or very, very, to add extra emphasis. Notice the following. One, the party was really, really fun. Two, that hotel is very, very expensive. So, 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 what did you do in Greece? Speakers often use so at the start of a sentence or question to get the listener's attention. Notice the following. 1. So, are you coming to the party? 2. So, what do you want for dinner? So, so. The beaches are so beautiful. We use so to show that something is extra special or more than what we expect. Notice the following. 1. This movie is so boring. 2. My boss is so nice. So much. So much. I had so much fun. Here, so much means more than normally expected. Notice the following. 1. There is so much crime in the city. 2. It costs so much money. And so, and so... There was a big football tournament, and so everybody was so happy. We use and so to connect related events. It is used mainly in spoken English. In written English, we just use so. Notice the following. 1. It started to rain, and so we went inside. Spoken English. 2. It started to rain, so we went inside. Written English.